Hey there, what's up? Welcome back. In this episode, you're going to learn all about working with balances from the Stripe API. At this point, we now have a financial account which has its own balances. We also have our Stripe connected account which has separate balances. Let's display some of those data points on our dashboard so we can kind of keep track of our account balances throughout the lifecycle of our application. So we can retrieve our Stripe financial account or our Stripe treasury financial account, and that is gonna have a balance of cash, inbound pending, outbound pending. Let's start there. So let's open up our dashboards controller, and in here, we'll create one of those services. So let's actually say that our financial balances is going to be Stripe account new. So Stripe account, remember, is this helper class that expects a, um, an account object from our database, current user.account. And that is gonna have some method that we'll implement now called financial balances. So let's jump into this Stripe account helper class and we're gonna implement this new method called financial balances, which will retrieve our financial account. And we're gonna just render its financial balances. So now if we go over to our uh, dashboard show controller, we can just render this out. Let's just say at financial balances, we'll render this out and just see what this looks like on the page. Okay, undefined method financial balances for treasury financial account. So it's actually going to be just called balance. So here, this is just called balance. So our, we have this financial account method already here that is using the Stripe API. So this is using Stripe, the Stripe Ruby gem to make an API call to the Stripe API to retrieve our financial account that we created in the previous episode. So if you are uh, wondering where is all this coming from, you can head back and uh, start at the beginning of the series where we sort of build up an entire onboarding flow to create connected accounts, financial accounts, et cetera. So at this point, we already should have a financial account and now when we refresh the page, all right, great. Now we see that we have zero uh, cash, inbound pending, outbound pending. Let's make this pretty by going to Tailwind UI and again, grabbing some, uh, some nice data components here. Uh, so this is gonna be like a stats display. And what do we want it to look like? Uh, probably just this basic one at the top. Okay, so we're gonna drop that in. And here we might just go over each of these directly and say something like our cash. I think it's called cash, right? Cash balance. Uh, yeah, so our cash balance, and this is gonna be in USD, so we're gonna say at financial balances, uh, cash, and USD, what does that give us? All right, so that shows cash. All right, so now we wanna do inbound pending. This one will be inbound pending, and that's gonna have something like this. I think I can actually use dot notation here. Okay, yeah, I can change this to dot notation. So dot cash dot USD. And finally, outbound pending. So this is gonna be basically the same thing, but instead of inbound and outbound. All right, let me just remove this bottom one. So this is our balances, and I think I can use the format currency method, number to currency. All right, that looks pretty good. We'll do the same thing down here. I think these are actually gonna be in cents, so we'll probably have to come back and adjust the precision once we actually have some money in these accounts. Number to currency. All right. So this should give us um, some of an idea of what's in our financial account. Now, because there's nothing there, it's hard to see what money might be in there. So one thing we can do is test a received credit. So there's a test mode API call that we can make that will move some money into a financial account. So what we could do is go to the, um, we can go to the Stripe CLI, or I'm sorry, we can go to the, the Rails console here and we could find uh, account.last and then make this API call to create a test mode received credit for the financial account of the, the account that we're working with. And 
the uh, right, and then we also need to pass the account header. So Stripe account is going to be this account ID, and that should create a received credit, a test received credit for ten dollars. So now in our account, we sh okay. So this is ten dollars, but it looks like a thousand because we are not uh, we are not dividing here. So in our uh, dashboard show number to currency here this should be divided by a thousand i in practice we should probably put this into some helper method it's actually not divided by a thousand it's divided by a hundred um and also let's see if this is going to work with the correct sense and everything all right so if we refresh now okay so now we have 10 cents let's let's add uh let's do another um test received credit, but this time we'll do it for one, two, three, four, just so that we can make sure that our, our cents are working as expected. So we should have, okay, we don't. So that means that our division is happening as integer division. So we want to fix that. We can just add a, da a dot zero on the end to force it to happen uh, with floats. And we'll come back here, refresh the page. And now we have $22.34. That is fantastic. That's exactly what we want. The last 30 days thing is doesn't matter. That's not actually related at all, so we'll remove that. Um, actually, what we can do is use this for our um, telling uh, where this money is. So this money is in our financial account. Also, I misspelled dashboard. I was probably bothering somebody. Okay. So now we have our dashboard. This is our financial account balances. All right, so there's no inbound pending, no outbound pending. That's great. Now let's add a, a view for our payments balance. So this is gonna be our payments balance. Now our payments balance lives somewhere else in the API. It's not under the financial account. Instead, it's under underneath balance. So we can say retrieve the balance and pass in the connect header. And the shape of this is a little bit different. So we're gonna have some available connect reserve, pending, etc. So let's do this also. So we're gonna have another section here that's gonna be called our payments, payments balance. Payments balance, financial account balance. Okay, now our payments balance, we're gonna have, uh, again, let's do the same thing here where we render out the um, at payments balance. And from the dashboard controller, we will have another thing here called the payments balances, balances. And we're gonna create a new thing. We'll call it payments balance. And then we wanna to go to this thing here, to this class and add a new method, payments balances. So this is gonna be a separate API call. This is gonna be an API call to retrieve these balances. So we're gonna say Stripe balance retrieve. And then we need to pass in our header um, so that it's made on behalf of connect. We'll memoize that just in case we need to make that API call for some reason, uh, or we need to access that multiple times. Okay. All right, so this is hitting the API. Now there's, now there's two API calls happening when we load this page. One is to fetch the financial account balance. One is to fetch our payments balance. And we did get that back. So we have um, our available balance, instant available, and our pending. So we're gonna have different names for this in our dashboard. Uh, for our data. So this is gonna be sort of like our um, available and that's gonna be under payments balances. And uh, so payments balances dot available. Um, and there's several here. So this is gonna be for, I believe this is maybe for each currency, but I think we're just gonna do dot first dot amount. So let's see if this knows what it means. Okay, inbound pending. Okay, yes, because these are not done yet. So we have uh, instant available dot first dot amount. And then here we have the pending dot first dot amount. All right. Okay, fantastic. 
Now we have a payments balance and we're showing all the details here. Let's add a little bit of spacing between these, remove our uh, debugging. So we're gonna add a class of margin top four. And then, um, okay, that looks pretty nice. This one's a little bit tight here. So we'll do the same thing up here. And okay, so now how do we get money? We saw how to add some money in test mode to our financial account balance. What is one way we can add it to our payments balance? Well, there's a special test mode card that can be used to skip the pending balance and add it directly to your available balance. So in um, what we can do is we can create a, a product here on our connected account. So we're gonna say add a product. This is gonna be something like creator, uh, like digital good, I don't know. <laughs> whatever it is. Okay, so we'll say that this is $10 USD one time. And um, okay, let's save this product. And now let's create a payment link for that product. Notice that we're creating this on the connected account. Okay, so that looks good. So now we have a payment link on the connected account that we can then use. The card that will bypass our available balance is 4,000 everything but ending in 007. So we can use this test card and click pay. And this will or should create a payment on our connected account for our creator and this should end up on uh, in one of these balances over here. So now we refresh the page, we see this available balance here, inbound pending is 941. So uh, I think, is that incorrect? Instant available, available, okay. So this, wait, yeah, that should not be called inbound pending any, anymore. This should now be called instant uh, available, and then this should be called pending. All right, so now we have a dashboard that shows us our balances for our payments balance. That's how much money is on our Connect account. And we have the money in our financial account balance, which is fantastic. So uh, what we're gonna do in the next episode is talk about how we move money from the payments we received through payment links or subscriptions or whatever from our payments balance into our financial account balance. And we're gonna do that with a payout. So we're gonna look at another API for, uh, for moving money around. Uh, okay. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.